Hi and welcome. You're here at Bella Katrina, my channel, and we are talking here about the Divine Empress. So we're doing new readings as of 2021, going through the solstices. I've had a spiritual upgrade. And I need to focus, 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 focus on what's most important. And I've come to a realization that the Divine Empress, do you love that? So the Divine Feminine, the Empress in the Tarot, where we are gender specific, has um, activated codes of new energy, a new vibration bringing to planet Earth. This activates in turn the Divine Masculine. Now I work with Twin Flames, I'm a Reiki master and have my own practice and I can teach you Reiki. I'm also bringing online Twin Flame Reiki, Soulmate Reiki, Divine Love Templates and um, self-love Reiki. So all these things are going to be to nurture the Divine Feminine because you know what, Divine Feminine? This spiral comes around, right? Time's not linear, it's circular. And the times come around again where I've done the whole of receptive mode has been a journey. The journey has started again. So more Divine Masculine or they've awakened to a different level. Now the reason that I'm doing Divine Empress readings here on my channel is because I've had five Divine Masculines right, approach me in different areas of my life for different things knowing that they're awake. And it's like, well, they're not my Divine Masculine, so why are they coming to me? because the Divine Empress is being distracted. So if the Divine Empress is being distracted, the union cannot take place because she activates the codes first. So we're bringing in our mother, Mary, Queen of the Angels, to nurture this vibration, this energy. And we're just going to ask here, we're gonna do a snapshot. So this is all gonna be about the Divine Empress and this is the Divine Empress who activates the codes, receives the Sacred Heart Twin Flame Womb. And in turn, will activate her Divine Masculine or all of them on the planet, apparently. So you're not activating your Divine Masculine, I am. It's your job. <laughs> That's why we're doing this. And we've got another channel called Receptive Mode to help you get into this Receptive Mode as a Divine Feminine. We have Mother Mary here. So I have a little rhyme I made up. And we goes like this. Oh, Mother Mary, full of grace. Bestow on us now your loving embrace. Open our hearts so that we may be in loving union, happy and free. You can borrow it if you like. Been singing it since the first journey. So if you would like to share my journey in this um, awakening process to get to this level, it's that receptive mode. Mother Mary is saying you need a miracle. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mother Mary. We need a miracle. And some enthusiasm. You know that spark? If you've lost your spark, Divine Empress. Miracle is coming to enlighten you. Right through forgiveness in the past, you forgave. Maybe your twin, your Divine Masculine, maybe somebody else's Divine Masculine, maybe just a, I shouldn't say just, but, you know, maybe a soul star from your soul group. We're awakening and we're online. So soulmate Reiki and twin flame Reiki. Soulmate Reiki, if you're a twin flame, actually clears karmics. Soulmate Reiki then is activated to bring in your soul kin because we're waking up. The stars have aligned. The star seeds are wake, awakening. It's a very exciting time for soulmate Reiki. <laughs> Devotion here. As I fully commit to my values, relationships and God, I am clear about what to do next, right? This is a back to me, right? Who do I need to forgive? Clearing the energy and also forgiving yourself, Divine Empress. There's forgiveness of self here. I am willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. So it doesn't, it's like holding that resentment is like thinking that you've got it against somebody else is asking it's like drinking the poison and expecting somebody else to get sick. So that's very important. You've done that. So the devotion here is being noticed by your mother who loves you unconditionally. So you're stepping into a new vibration of integrity here. 
I trust my ability to know what is true for me. This is your alignment with yourself, releasing unforgiveness from your heart and being devoted to what makes you feel good in your integrity. So how do you know when you're out of your integrity? When you're actually watching readings of a divine empress with a narcissist. And how do you know you're with a narcissist? Because it's not about you. It's nothing to do with you. That's why this is saying back to me. Back to me. What's in this for me? How do I feel in, the, in this person's presence? So we're not looking at labels here. We're looking at your heart. Right? Call the divine masculine, to call them a narcissist. Most aren't even together yet, twin flames, because we've just stepped into a kundalini collective activation. And that is really important for the sacred heart, twin flame, sacred heart womb, because the womb is in the sacral, right? And that's where the kundalini activates in the divine masculine. And it's happening now. So, oh, look, a very nurturing um, divine empress energy here, compassion. I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. And a lot of times it's like not being, you know, a healer to somebody, even though you are, to your divine masculine, right? You're not his healer. You're not his teacher. You're not his guide. Right? You're his divine empress. That's receptive mode. That's not initiating contact that's not stressing out about where he is what he's doing uh, he should be telling you if he's not then you have to drop it it's not yours for now and because that's where you lose a lot of energy and bring back compassion and devotion it's beautiful trust compassion devotion trust and forgiveness i know that god in his infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now so what if you had a father in heaven who loves you unconditionally and he can see the road up ahead but you can't so the circumstances that we're in now you may find yourself releasing yourself from a narcissist in upset that you think they were your divine you know it's like it's very confusing if you go into the mind if you just trust god's got your back and if it's out of your integrity you step out and you forgive yourself and send compassion I get it. <laughs> to watch this again. Blessings. Today I count my blessings small and large and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. So there's peace, right? There's also um, grace and we've got comfort. These things you can't buy. If you can develop more forgiveness through Jesus, trust that God's got your back, that you are his child, that, that he's devoted to you and you want somebody devoted to yourself. So here's about learning to devote to yourself, stand in your integrity of what feels right for you and then bringing compassion to others and bless them and then release them, opening to receive. So this is receptive mode. That's why I have a channel there. So if you're not with us, it's receptive mode. We uh, have a few surprises there for you and divine masculine weekly readings, which is I'm able to talk more freely and I actually ask you to join me there. It's a subscription monthly. We do a lot of healing work if you're interested in healing or you're an empath so this is stepping into you i just heard self-assertiveness assertiveness i honor and love myself through my healthful actions this is not giving yourself away especially your sacred sexuality it's a sacred heart womb this is sacred right if you have the jezebel spirit then she wants to give it away because the energy doesn't go through the power center into the heart it just stays locked in the sacral and we can't actually activate the kundalini. So it's actually an energetic war that's on. So I've come to help you and to bring you guidance from the angels and the Holy Trinity. By enjoying this move moment, I am giving thanks to God for my life. So bringing joy into the moment, which is not easy. Beautiful cards, forgiveness, trust, self-respect. Devotion, compassion, blessings, beautiful, and integrity and joy. So which one do you want us to read, Mother Mary? Which one is the strongest to read, Mother Mary? Oh, she's got trust, trust, yes. So how do we get more trust? You know, you can actually experience something and then you begin to trust in it more, don't you? So it's a personal experience, a P.E., or there's another way to gain more trust and faith is you can actually learn from other people's experiences. That's O-P-E. So trust 
is trusting in, you know, you've got to trust in the truth, <laughs> I used to say. You might as well believe, if you're going to believe in something, you might as well believe in the truth. You are asked this question because you desire, your, you desire reassurance that everything is going to be okay. This card asks you to trust that indeed it will be. By relaxing with faith and trusting in God's infinite intelligence, you open the doorway to the answers to your prayers. In this way, you are more receptive to hearing heavenly guidance, which gives you intuitive instructions about which action steps to take. As you take them, you bring about divine results. Keeping in mind, sometimes it's not, I find that the guidance I get seems unrelated to what I've asked for. That's why it's, oh, that's the trust. I'm learning to not question it and just do it. And in hindsight, I'm getting it. But that's what I mean through the portal. I'm getting it more instantly. I used to take three or four days and now it's happening in a couple of minutes. And then I want to get ahead. <laughs> This card promises you a favourable resolution to your current situation, Divine Empress, even if it differs from your expectations, Mother Mary lovingly asks you to step out of the way so that God's handiwork has room to enter. Surrender any fears, worries or desires to control the outcome and trust in God's wisdom and love. So trust that He's got your back 100%. Maybe, you know, we haven't had parents or fathers that had our back, that didn't sleep, that didn't get drunk, that didn't get angry, that didn't gamble, <laughs> ah. but loves you unconditionally and will teach you how to love him and be honoured to be in his presence. And that's the trust that we're looking for. So we say thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for increasing our trust in you and your son. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We love you. Thank you for watching. This is a message from Mary, Queen of the Angels, to the Divine Empress, to prepare for union as it's here in 3D, available now. I have receptive mode, receptive mode, receptive mode. If you would like to join us there, please do. It's a subscription where we do Divine Masculine Weekly Readings. And so much more healings, meditations, and um, conversations. I love you. Thank you for being with me. Bye for now.